Hello, I'm Bridget from Troop 1915, and I'll be performing A Trip to the Library from She Loves Me, music and lyrics by Harnick and Bach. I'll be portraying Alona. Thank you. Let me tell you, you've never seen anything like that library. So many books, so much marble, so quiet. And suddenly all of my confidence dribbled away with a pitiful plop. My head was beginning to swim and my forehead was covered with cold perspiration. I started to reach for a book and my hand automatically came to a stop. I don't know how long I was frozen a victim of panic and mortification. Oh, how I wanted to flee. When a kindly voice, a gentle voice whispered, Pardon me. And there was this dear, sweet, clearly respectable, thickly bespectacled man who stood by my side and quietly said to me, Ma'am, don't mean to intrude, but I was just wondering, are you in need of some help? I said no. Yes, I am. The next thing I know, I'm sipping hot chocolate and telling my troubles to Paul, whose tender brown eyes kept sending compassionate looks. A trip to the library has made a new girl of me, for suddenly I can see the magic of books. Admit in the back of my mind, I was praying he wouldn't get fresh. And all of a while, I was wondering why an illiterate girl should attract him. And then all of a sudden, he said that I couldn't go wrong with the way of all flesh. Of course, it's a novel, but I didn't know I certainly wouldn't have smacked him. Well, he gave me a smile that I couldn't resist. And I knew at once. How much I like this optometrist. You know what this dear, sweet, slightly bespectacled gentleman said to me next? He said he could solve this problem of mine. I said, how? He said if I'd like, he'd willingly read to me some of his favorite things. I said, His novel approach seemed highly suspicious and possibly dangerous too. I told myself, wait, think, dare you go up to his flat? What happens if things go wrong? It's obvious he's quite strong. He read to me all night long. Now how about that? to believe how truly domestic and happily hopeful I feel. I picture my Paul there reading aloud as I cook. As long as he's there to read, there's quite a good chance indeed. A chance that I'll never need to open a book. Someone else, someone I dimly recall. I know he'll only have eyes for me, my optometrist. Home. Thank you.